what's going on guys in this tutorial i'm gonna help you fix the daemon error in game guardian when you try using game guardian in parallel space on newer androids such as android 14 because you don't have root guys an important note you have to use the apps from the provided link because these apps have been modified to fix this problem if you get the apps from somewhere else i cannot guarantee that you will succeed so before we begin, just so nobody accuses me of having a fake tutorial, I'm going to go to root checker. And as you can see here, it says that my version is Android 14. And I'm going to tap on verify root. And you can see it says, sorry, root access is not properly installed on this device. So I definitely don't have root here. So we go over to the apps. We start by installing Game Guardian. Tap on it, install. Depending on your Android version and or your setup for your security, you, you may get presented with a warning from Google Play thinking that Game Guardian is a harmful app. All you have to do is tap on this more details right here and then install anyway. If you have a pin code on your device, you will be asked to input it. Once you do that, Game Guardian will continue the installation. You don't need to open the app. Once it's done, just tap on done. And we continue on to parallel space. So we install this parallel space first. Doesn't really matter. Just install one of them. And the other one's for 32-bit support. Same as before, if you get this, just tap on more details, install anyway, and input your pin. So the other parallel space is for 32-bit support. If you have an older game that uses 32-bit, it may help you run the game. So there's no harm in having it installed. And guys, just a quick note, parallel space in general, whether it's 64-bit or 32-bit, is not guaranteed to run every single game out there. Ideally, you should have root if you want to hack games. But if you don't have root, you can use parallel space, but it has some limitations, some compatibility issues with some games, etc. Another alternative is to utilize a virtual app which gives you full root access as if you were on a separate rooted device, uh, such as Virtual Master, vPhone OS, or vMOS, to name a few. So just keep that in mind, please. You're not going to be able to run every single game uh, you can ever imagine in parallel space that's not the reality that's not realistic all right so app installed done i'm gonna tap on the 32-bit support to install it and there we go so guys when you finished installing them you should have four uh icons just like that two game guardians and two parallel space uh, i strongly recommend you disable uh, uh ads before you begin because this is a non-paid version uh, of parallel space and as you know in the free versions you're going to be forced to watch ads and this will make your task uh you know more it'll make it harder and more challenging so i strongly recommend you disable ads like i'm going to show you head over to your device settings search for dns and when you do, you'll get this private DNS tap on it, tap on private DNS. If you've never messed with this before, it's probably going to be in automatic for you right here. All you have to do is select the third one right here and type in dns.adguard-dns.com and save it and then reboot your device. Keep in mind, guys, that uh, on some rare occasions, certain websites internet websites may not display properly for you because of this and if you ever go to watch ads in some game to collect some gold or gems or money etc you probably won't be able to watch ads so just keep in mind that you need to put this back if this happens great now all we have to do is go into parallel space and uh, uh one second obviously not this parallel space because this is just the 32-bit support it's just an add-on so you go into the other parallel space here make sure you uh allow it all the rights and permissions that it asks for otherwise something may not work properly so i'm just gonna allow it everything it asks 
the first time you go into it, it will force you to add at least one app, otherwise you won't be able to continue. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, add Google Chrome and then you can remove it later. And accept. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is because I don't need Google Chrome here, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it. And now we're gonna tap on this add app, the plus sign. And we're just going to tap on Game Guardian, but I'm going to deselect these here and just select Game Guardian. Guys, a quick note while we're here, if you have some sort of an antivirus uh, app, like a security app on your device that thinks Game Guardian is harmful and it deletes it and you don't see it in, in, uh, like in the folder, then please let me know in the comments. I can uh, give you, like, I can pass Game Guardian on to you uh, via an alternative method uh, so that it gets to you. So we go ahead and open up Game Guardian. Okay, you want to choose default here, the first one. Okay, and now you want to tap on settings when you get this screen. And you want to enable this toggle switch right here. And when you do, it's going to continue with the installation. Just tap on install. And same as before, if you get this, tap on more details and install anyway and input your PIN. Okay, guys, don't worry if you get this screen. All you have to do now is tap on add app again, this plus sign. And as you'll notice now, you have two Game Guardian icons, one with just the standard name of Game Guardian and one with a, a weird name. It's just to bypass the uh, um, like detection by games. So now you want to, one second, I'm going to deselect everything else. And you just want to tap on the Game Guardian with the weird name, not the Game Guardian, not this one that says Game Guardian, but this one with a weird name. So tap on that one with the weird name and tap on add to parallel space. And now you just want to tap on the one with the weird name. Okay, same as before, granted all the permissions that it asks. And if it asks you to restart, go ahead and restart. If within five seconds it doesn't restart on its own, that's okay, just tap on it again to restart it yourself the one with the weird name. It's gonna ask you if you wanna uninstall the original one, tap on yes, tap okay, and now just tap on it once more, and it should be working. If you get this fix it, tap on fix it, tap on data in the RAM yes, and yes default, the last one here, okay. Uh, you'll get this screen here where you have to enable a couple more toggle switches for parallel space. Just enable those two for parallel space and go back. Restart once more. And this time, just tap on it one last time and it should definitely be working. There you go. Start. And there's your Game Guardian icon without the daemon error. And to prove it, we'll take it a step further. I'm going to go ahead and add a game and make sure I can attach the game to Game Guardian. Let me deselect all of these, and I'm just gonna go ahead and choose this game right here. I'll add it to parallel space. The Game Guardian icon went away, but that's okay. We just launch Game Guardian once more. If you get this fix it, just do it. No harm in that. And now we just tap on the game to launch it. And as you can see, guys, I am able to attach the game to Game Guardian. So I hope you guys have found this helpful. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.